All right. How's everyone doing today? Are we doing good? Thumbs up? All right. It's Friday, right? So um, what I want to do is just kind of go over some things. The class is going to change a little bit because I was telling you last week we were going to be getting access to some um, um, more information or different courses. And so we're going to be going into uh, digital photography, which I think you guys will find fun. Um, also, the, it's going to be um, more like ingenuity in a way that everything is planned out. So if you're someone who wants to work ahead because you really dig this stuff, you can. And if you're someone who um, needs help with, um, let's say your reading skills aren't all that great and you need help getting through the information, there's um, um, features on this program that will allow you to have it read to you or you can highlight things and those kind of things. So it's better for you in that aspect that um, hopefully it'll meet everyone's needs um, so they can get through um, the lessons. Um, and again, um, it's all planned out already. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add stuff as we go along. And mostly what I'm gonna be adding is if they didn't explain something very well, I might find a video for us that will help explain it. OK, and I'll go into that in a minute. But the first thing is, was there any questions on what is due today, which is your final infographic that you were supposed to do on copyright? Does anyone have a question on that? I saw on Monday some people were doing like uh, I saw one student was doing their infographic on whales. I'm like, no, not on whales. <laughs> it's supposed to be on copyright, right? It's kind of like your test on everything you learn during that unit. So um, if we don't have any questions with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And um, this one, I guess. There we go. And so you should see the Canvas screen. OK. Nothing new here. Again, we can see you know here's week five. Um, the Zoom, I guess there was a lot of confusion on the different Zoom links and this and that. So I got rid of them all and we got one and it's here. So you don't have to look through emails if you lose it or if it gets deleted, it's always going to be here on this home page and um, you can grab it there. OK, so um, that's there. And again, just kind of a review of what needed to be uh, what we did this week. OK. But what I wanted to show you is the new lessons we're going to be going into next week and where you can find them. Because I know some of you, you know, you probably work on this stuff earlier in the week, so you don't have to do it on a Friday, right? Because we want to go goof off on a Friday. So let's go to modules where everything is at. And let me scroll down. Close up all that stuff. All right. So. There's this getting started for students. And this kind of tells you how, what we're using is a program called eDynamic. And it tells you how the course is run. Um, it tells you what you're gonna learn. So if you're kind of like wondering what it is we're gonna be doing, it'll be there. Materials that you'll need. And you're gonna see in there, it's gonna say, you need a refrigerator. What? Now it has to do with the photography assignment that you're doing. Or if you need food. It has to do with the photography assignment. So don't think you have to go buy a refrigerator to do this. Um, we can go do, we can use something else. Um, but um, it just kind of tells you the different things. Then we have the vocabulary and the vocabulary is everything in the unit. So if you're going through something and you're like, man, I don't understand what that word is, then you can go back to the vocabulary here and it will be there. And I just put this little link in here today, this, uh, the, I don't even know how you pronounce it, daguerreotype. Anyways, they're old, they're um, pictures and photos that were done um, on tin. And it was done like um, in the late 1800s. So like 1880, 1890. And I'm sure once you see a picture of it, you're gonna go, oh, okay, I might've seen some of that. But when you're going through the vocabulary, You know, they give you the words and the definitions of everything. And as we go through here, you get down and like um, 
you like depth. Well, I know what the word depth means, but you're sitting here going, oh, what's this word? You know, that's kind of, okay, it's the first commercially used photographs process that created images on a silver copper plate. They used all sorts of chemicals to do that. It's pretty cool. And so what I did is I added a link on here, and this is how I'm going to kind of do some of the enrichment or add-ons to our lessons. So that way, um, you have a better understanding. We're not gonna watch all of this, but I'll show you in the end what one looks like. Cause you might've seen, okay. They're old photos and they're on this plate. And if you've ever been in an antique store, you might've seen something like that. But anyways, um, he goes through the whole process of how you deal with chemicals and do it all. And um, this is kind of some cool stuff. So, Let's go back to the modules so I can get, oh, I guess I could hit the back button, silly me. All right. Okay, so this, um, so anyways, please read through this. You can scan through it if you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense to me. Don't worry about it because this is just really an overview. But the one thing I wanted to show you in the first one is this. And that is, Um, if you need help, because, you know, some of us are great readers, some of us aren't the greatest readers, some of us need help in everything we do. So anyways, they have this um, literacy board. And if you're one of those people who like to highlight words as you go along and all that, there's all sorts of great things. You might have seen these in other um, of your online courses, but this is where they're at. So see this little guy that's up in the corner? That's how you access them. And if we hit the play button, literally it will read the page for us, okay? Or, and you can stop it and play it. And then you also have highlighting and, you know, all those other things. But what I want you to do is make sure, you know, this little guy is this little guy that's up in the corner here, okay? Everyone good with that? All right. So, um. If we okay, so we get into this, it's middle school photography, and they introduce us to um, digital photography, what is photography, and the first part of this, um, they define photography, how it was used, um, exploring works of art, and then there's assignments. Okay, and the next week I'll have for you on Monday what assignments you need to have. This is more than what you need to do in one week of school for art, okay? So what I'm thinking is you, we might only get through reading everything and doing this first question next week. And then the following week, we might do these three activities. I don't know. I have to sit down and see how long they're going to take us to do because, you know, I know you got math and science and all those other classes to take. So I don't want to overwhelm you. But what I want you to see here, though, is there's a series of assignments that you're going to be doing that is based on the reading. So don't sit there and go, because, you know, like ingenuity, you got to do stuff at the end before you can go on. In Canvas, you you don't have to. You could I could sit here and click next all the way until the very end and not learn one thing. But with those assignments that you have, whoops. These assignments that you're going to be doing on the end are based on all that reading, okay? Or, and it can read it to you. So if you're not great at reading and you just wanna listen to it, that's cool, okay? So, but just know in the end, you will have assignments based on that, okay? We good with that? Any questions, anyone? You'll have to, I'm on my, just my laptop today. So you'll have to holler if you need something. Are we good? I'm not hearing anyone unmuting, so I'm thinking we're good. Okay, so next week, um, and if you wanna get started on this today, cause you're like, well, you know what? I'm done with my infographic and this looks kind of cool. And I wanna, you know, I wanna go on with this, then um, you can. Um, and then you can see this first thing here where it says required, digital camera pointer shooter above. Okay, all your Chromebooks take pictures, right? So technically we can use our Chromebooks as the camera. 
it's kind of odd because you got to kind of walk around with it and, you know, um, take pictures differently, but you can take pictures with your Chromebooks. If you have a cell phone, um, I was going to look on, um, I have an Android, and I was going to look on it and see which phone apps, if there's any in there that we can do something more than just what generically comes on your cell phone. But um, my camera takes really good pictures, so I've never really played with that. But um, so your cell phone could be your camera. And if you don't have a cell phone that takes pictures, maybe mom and dad will let you use it for this project. And then the, and then the other option is a truly one of the little cameras. I don't know how many of you guys own cameras anymore, but we do have, um, that could be another option as well. Okay, so um, if there's a problem with you being able to take pictures with something, please let me know and we'll kind of see what we can brainstorm to come up with another solution. Um, and here you see everyday household objects like a TV or refrigerator is something you'll need, okay? That has to deal with an assignment. Assorted food items, that has to deal with an assignment. So don't think you have to go out and buy this stuff, right? We'll, uh, we'll work our way through it. And then um, they go through it and they tell you a little bit more about where those items are gonna be used. So like the last one is the backdrop or the blanket that we need. Um, in that last activity, okay? So if you wanna go ahead and get started on this today because you're completely done with your infographic, that's perfectly fine. If you want to, um, um, I'll tell you on Monday what sections you have to do. So on Monday, I may say you might have to read all this and do the first activity. I don't know yet, but I will tell you on Monday, but you can't get behind by getting started on it if that's where you're going. Okay, so last question. Anyone have any questions or problems with the infographics? Everyone good? Here's your chance to get ask me any questions. Do we have any questions about anything else? No? All righty. Well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for coming by today. And um, as you can see, they're pretty quick lessons and reviews. So, um, I did record this one, so I'll stick it up there so um, the kids that didn't show up can see it and understand what we covered today, okay? If you're all good, have a good day, and we'll see you next Friday. And email me if you got any problems, okay?